Hi, Clive. So just a, a brief explanation on the body code. It's an energy healing technique designed by Dr. Bradley Nelson. Um, so we'll be using kinesiology to pinpoint imbalances, uh, energetically things that your body, um, you know, may need clearing as well as toxins in the body that you may need to do without and uh, nutrition and lifestyle elements, which can uh, help improve your health. Um okay. Do you have any any questions with anything? No, let's just go for it. Great, great. Um, so I'll be typing as we're doing the session, sure. and I'll email a copy of it to you afterwards. Okay. Um, Um, so, so just take a, a brief description on your details, please. Uh, so, um, what do you have any um, health issues that that you're? <laughs> yes. Uh, I have something. Well, you know. Uh, to give it a label, uh, it's called pedendal neuralgia. And how does that affect you, Clive? Uh, quite profoundly. Um, it's pain in my scrotum and my perineum. Um, I can't sit. I can only stand for a limited amount of time. And uh, yeah, I've had it quite a few years and I became housebound about five years ago because of it to give up work. And I used to be quite active before that. Did you have any accidents or, no. or anything? No, that's the bizarre thing. Uh, did you have any back pain going back through the years? No, no, no back pain or no issues like that. No, um, no. I have a a slight kyphosis. Do you know what that is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Rounding of the shoulders, upper back yeah. sticking. Up. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just, just a you no know, slightly exaggerated from whatever is normal. You never damage your back lifting or anything like that. No, no, no. no. And you never saw a chiropractor to see what oh, was going yeah, on with the yeah. nerves? I've seen chiropractors, osteopaths, cranial, I've seen loads of people. Then have they been able to do much for you to improve? Yeah, yeah they, they've helped it. Yeah, you know, I even had something called postural integration, you know, really, really deep tissue massage. Yeah, I mean, it all helped. But that hasn't managed to get you from a place of not being housebound and able to get back working again. No, no. Um, and that hasn't reduced the pain much? No, not really. And I've had lots of healing, um, energetic healing as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that's that's very, very severe. Um, yeah. Um. So the, the pedendal neuralgia, has it been the last five years it's been at you or has it been longer? Um, it started off probably 10 years ago with um, a sit bone pain. Just woke up one morning with a dull ache in my, in my sit bones. And um, I just carried on working um but it just grew and grew and grew that's when I, I i was financially okay and i was trying all sorts of different treatments for it uh but it just slowly got worse and then it you know i've always believed in the homeopathic process of in and out and it then it moved up 
into my perineum and scrotum. I thought, oh, well, maybe that's good movement, but uh, it didn't turn out to be so. And what are the pain levels like from one to ten? Um, it varies from day to day. It's some. It's it's difficult. You know what? What would you think of as torture? Would probably be starting about eight. Torture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd say anything that's around a six is affecting your sleep. Yeah, this affects my sleep. I would say it's probably in the range any day between four and six. And what is it at the moment? Uh, well, yeah, four four point five comes up. How many hours sleep are you getting a night? Well, I'm doing okay because I've reluctantly uh, gave in and I take sleeping tablets. It's the only thing I can, you know, it's, it's, yeah, that's what I do. So you're up to about seven or eight hours a night? Uh, Yeah, yeah. And is there any uh, any other um, health uh, health issues or anything else going on that uh, you want to add before we start yes. the session? Yeah, bursitis because I'm laying down so much. Uh, hips uh, pretty painful. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you're pretty much bed bound at the moment. Uh, no, I, I can move around. I, I can just about look after myself. I can cook. Yeah. Um, and is there anything else you want to add before we start the session? Uh, I do suffer from migraines as well. Are they daily? Uh, yeah, they, they can be. I've found lots of things to help me um, get rid of them, but yeah. I do get it every day. And um, how's how's your neck movement? Uh, yeah, it's fit, relatively loose. It's not restricted if you're trying to go side to side much? No. 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 Um, okay, are you drinking enough water? Oh, yeah, yeah, with um, yeah. electrolytes, yeah. Um. Okay, and how bad are the migraines, one to ten? Um, I can prob probably prevent them getting bad. I would say I can usually stop them about two or three. Very occasionally, I get the odd one that I'm not able to clear, and that maybe gets to a five. I mean, I used to have them really, really badly, ending up puking, you know, in the early hours of the morning. But yeah. That doesn't happen anymore. You know, I've, I've cleared a lot of stuff around my liver, which is obviously connected with uh, migraines. Good, good. And what age are you, Clive? 72. And is there anything you want to add before we start the session? No, I think we're still, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we'll just take a moment, silence. Okay. So we'll just ask, is there anything uh, coming up in relation to the podendal neuralgia on the left, pathogen misalignments on the left, skeleton, axial skeleton, vertebrae column. So it's taken us to lumbar vertebrae. L2. Okay, so I, I, I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of your lumbar vertebrae is uh, out of alignment. Okay, not a surprise, really. Yeah, no, it would be it'd be kind of the first thing I was thinking to when you when you described, um, you know, the the condition. Um, 
So I'm getting positives on misalignment. L1, L2, L3, L4 is okay, and L5. Uh, so we'll just ask, is there an association with this? Yes. Is it on the left? Pathogen, misalignment, nutrition and lifestyle. On the left, sleep, outside needs. On the left, physical needs. On the left, body work. So I'm getting a positive on chiropractic care. And I, I would hope if you found the right chiropractor, they would be able to, you know, miss a lot or realign the vertebrae yeah. um, and get whatever's happening with those nerves that they're creating that condition to uh, hopefully reduce or stop. Um, so is there any other association with the misalignments? No. Can we clear the energy of the misalignments? We can. Um, I would think it'd be good to to follow that up with um, you know, find a really good chiropractor or osteopath and um, follow it up with um. Well, there's two two issues. You know, I I wouldn't be able to get out to see them, and there's also a financial issue. Yeah. Um. think about the the solutions and uh you know attracting in the solutions okay. um um because it, you know for for something like that it is it is a case of you know seeing a healthcare professional who specializes in that stuff sure yeah um so is there anything else for the podendal neuralgia no um This, is there anything affecting the migraines? There is. Is it on the left? Energy, circuits and systems, toxins. On the left, dental toxin. Amalgam fillings. Oh, do, you have, okay. do you have any amalgam fillings, Clive? No, I've had them all out. Did you follow, did you follow much of a detox protocol when you were doing it? Yeah, yeah, I did. What were you doing at that time? Um, I was, what do you mean, work-wise? No, 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 detox protocol-wise when you got them out. Oh, right. Um, God, that's, I mean, it was 15 years ago now. Um, I know it included lots of vitamin C. Um, I mean, today I would take zeolite, but I don't think I did back then. Yeah, yeah, zeolite's very important when you're doing yeah. that. It's a good heavy metal binder. Yeah. So are like spirulina, wheatgrass, and those are greens. Yeah. Um, and you want to be taking as many like heavy metal binding agents when yeah. you know yeah. you've got an excess of it being released uh, mm. when when you when you get it removed. Yeah. Um, and the far infrared sawning is very good as well to help detox yeah. the heavy metals. I'm just asking for an association on the amalgam fillings. Is it on the left? Heavy metals and mercury. So mercury is an association. Um, so is there an association with mercury on the left? Pathogen, misalignment, nutrition and lifestyle. On the left, sleep, outside needs. Um... On the left, physical needs. On the left, detoxification. So would you get two litres of water in a day? No, not that much. 
probably probably a liter. Okay, that's not enough at all. Okay. Yeah, two la two liters is uh, do you know recommended for the average size man? Right. Um, and that can go up if you're you know exercising, working outside, sweating. You know, if you're eating a lot of carbohydrates, you want more as well to even digest it. Yeah, don't eat carbohydrates. Um, but yeah, liter is not enough. You okay, want at least two. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm getting a positive on fire and thread sauning for detox. Have you ever tried that? Many years ago, yeah, I used to enjoy it. It it would be um, do you know, good thing to to do um at least once or twice a week with the mm. uh, mercury detox with the amalgam fillings. Mm. So I'm I'm getting a positive on eating a clean diet with many live raw foods. There's a lot of raw foods that are good binders too. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm mainly following a carnivore diet. And I mean that is fantastic for insulin sensitivity and for losing body fat and it can be mm. very powerful for killing parasites too. Um but in the context of uh you know like heavy metal detox, you know, some of those greens are very powerful binders. Mm. Um, so it's probably something, something in the middle, you know, like it's probably ideal. Um, I, I, I see the benefits with the carnivore diet and, um, but I'm not sure about it long term. Yeah, I mean, before I went on it, I was having green smoothies, you know, spirulina and all of that sort of stuff. And uh, I don't know, um, my guts weren't that good at the time. Hmm. Do you feel a lot better now? Yeah. I do think just, just for the, the purpose of detoxing, you know, like certain... You know, parsley, kale, spinach, some of those foods are, you know, quite powerful. Maybe the smoothie isn't the best way of taking them. Mm. Do you know? Because I think the roughage part is kind of what helps with the binding. Yeah. Um. So we'll just ask, uh, can we clear the energy with the mercury? We can. And can we clear the energy with the amalgam fillings? We can. Still be good to follow, um, you know, some detox methods. Um, do you know, would certainly uh, the saunings good. You want it, you want to up your water intake because you want, you want to be getting at least your maintenance water to help, you know, detox and keep everything moving. Um, so is there anything else we can clear on the left in energy? On the left, allergy, emotional. On the left, trapped emotion, heart wall emotion. So it's taken us to common heart wall emotion. <clears throat> and the heart wall is... Um, so when we experience uh, emotional events that are quite traumatic or severe, we put up an energetic wall around our heart of made up of trapped emotions, which like emotional baggage to protect us at that time. But afterwards, it's not as useful because it can, you know, block block things coming in and going out. Um, so is there anything we can clear on the left? Even row one. Tree and defensiveness. It's one and five, five and ten. Defensiveness age eight. And you don't have to tell me what, what um you know what emotional events coming up for you, but if you can um no, I know. 
Do you know? Yeah, I started stuttering. Okay, that was age eight, was it? Yeah. Okay. Probably Can we closer turn? to. It was the um, very first day of starting primary school. Just a teacher went round. Never happened before. Ask, asking people's names came to me, and I went, oh, oh. "Yeah, nothing came out." So when you started primary school, would that be more like four or five? Oh, no, not not uh, primary school. No, the the uh, one when you go into the juniors, about seven or eight. Oh yes, okay, okay, all right. So just ask, can we clear defensiveness? We can. Have we cleared it? Yes. Is there anything we can clear on the left? Even row one, three, five. In terror, age ten. Are you asking me if I rem Yeah, can you think of what that could be linked to? Age ten terror. Yes, yes, I can. So just ask, can we clear it? We can. <clears throat> have we cleared Terror Age 10? We have. Is there anything else we can clear on the left? Even row one, three, five. Unsupported, age 16. Unsupported, did you say? Yeah, unsupported, age 16. Mm. Yeah, nothing, nothing in particular comes up for that age. Is that around the age you would have been finishing school? It would, yeah. But then I, I went straight into work. So could that be feeling unsupported in relation to a family member? Or, or we can... um, no, no, I mean, no, nothing comes up around that time. So we'll just ask, do we need to know more about it? No. Can we clear it? We can. Is there any more heart wall emotions on the left? Even row one, three, five. Achieved age 29. Yeah, okay. Um, that was when I started a therapy called primal integration. And I re-experienced my birth for the first time. And two days afterwards, I had my very first migraine. Oh, really? Yeah. Was it a traumatic birth? Yeah, called around the neck, called around the neck, came out blue, incubator. Oh, God. So just ask, can we clear, peeved age 29, we can. Clear that we have. Is there anything else we can clear on the left? Even row one, three, five. Terror age thirty seven. Thirty seven. I'm 
comes up for that age. Is anything coming to mind for that? Um, it was at that age, I was living in London and I moved to Bristol to live with a woman. Um, yeah, that was 80, 87. Yeah, so apart from that, I mean, yeah, nothing outstanding, really. Did anything happen? Any confrontation, altercation or... Um, well, we, we got on quite well and, um, she wanted to have children and I didn't, so we split up and, uh, we, she ended up having a child and we reconnected in a relationship about seven, eight years ago, but that, that finished, um, about three years ago. Okay, so that's 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 not something you'd feel terror around no, that specifically. No, it isn't. no. Um there was no accident or anything that happened around that time or... unless I've buried it, um, which is always possible, but no, nothing comes up for that age. Okay, so just ask, can we clear it? We can. Is there anything else we can clear on the left? Even row one, three, five. And Tara again, age 48. Well, well, I'm 48. Yeah, I think I have a good idea what that is. Um, it would take quite a a bit of time to explain it it's quite detailed yeah um yeah um yeah only tell me what you feel comfortable and um you but you've pinpointed it yeah yeah so we'll just ask can we clear it we can We cleared it. We have. Is there anything else we can clear on the left? Even row one, three, five. Supported. Unsupported, age 52. Can you think what that might be linked to, age 52? Yeah. Uh, it's right in the middle of Chiron return. Um, no, no, nothing comes up for that age. Do we need to know more about it? We do. Um, so were you living? Were you living in London then? Or? No, no, no. I was um, living where I currently am now in in Stroud. And. Um... Were you in a relationship with yeah. the, the woman you moved to Bristol with? No, 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 no. This was a this was another woman. Yeah, my longest lasting one, and uh, that was in the middle of it, and that was going well. Uh, I was enjoying my work. Yeah, 
the only thing that what kind of what kind of work were you doing then um i was i i had a potpourri i had two what were called bank relief jobs um i worked uh in a home for adults with asperger's syndrome and i worked in a home for drug and alcoholic rehabilitation and I did bank relief so I could sort of say yes or no to shift so I could do what I really wanted to do which was dream work so I worked as a dream work therapist okay cool um um so did you feel quite supported in all of these aspects of work you were doing at that time I suppose with both of the bank relief jobs there there I could probably pinpoint feelings of being un unsupported at times was it, did it just feel a bit unpredictable sometimes with the... well yes yes it was with the aspergers yeah they they could kick off at the slightest thing yeah so was there was there a lot of that around that time when you were doing that work? Or? I wouldn't say there was a lot. Um, I I became more confident and knew how to be with them when they were kicking off, and it wasn't quite as stressful, was it? It was probably more in the early days until I got comfortable with it. Okay, okay, yeah, I think that's it. So just ask, can we clear that? We can. We cleared on support if we have. Is there anything else we can clear on the left? Even row one. The vulnerability age sixty six. Oh, that's when that long term relationship finished um and I, I went to live with her not in stroud uh I ended so I had to find somewhere to live that was quite a vulnerable time yeah but you know not overwhelming it all it all panned out in the end yeah so so we'll just ask can we clear it we can We cleared vulnerability we have. Is there any more heart wall emotions we can clear now? Is there anything else we can clear on the left? Energies, circuits and systems. On the left, organs, glands. Male glands. Testes have come up. Not surprising. Yeah, you've a lot of pain there, don't you? Yeah. Can I just ask how many amalgam fillings did you have when you um when you w w before you took them out? Uh, probably about eight. Eight. Yeah. And have you looked up the Western Price Dentistry chart? I have. Yes. Is there any correlation between that and, you know, the sex organs? Uh, yes, there probably is, although I've, I've also had a few um, teeth removed as well. Which is uh, do you, have you had all of your amalgam fillings taken out? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, but but was there a correlation between the the sex organs and the the teeth that had the amalgam fillings in them? Yes, when you uh, checked. Yeah. yeah, I did. Okay, so um, I'm just wondering how much of a correlation that could be. Right. Um, because, I mean, Mercury is second to uranium and it does have quite a, you know, horrific effect on the body. Yeah. Um, and how much chiropractic care did you get done since you had, uh, since you were diagnosed with the pedendal neuralgia? Um, I only got this diagnosis of pedendal neuralgia probably about six months ago. I, you know, I didn't know what it was. I didn't have a label before that. I knew I was just in, in pain. And um, as I say, I had money then. So, yeah, I tried osteopathy, cranial, chiropractor, acupuncture, homeopathy, you know. How much, how much chiropractic care did you get? Um, quite a bit. Okay. How many treatments roughly are you talking? Probably about 10. And so you had a lot of lumbar adjustments at that time? Yeah, yeah. How much did it improve the condition for you? Um, it, it did. Um, it... And you were able to work easier and you felt more functional and yeah. just better mm -hmm. and stronger. Yeah. Um, so we'll just ask, is there an association with the testes on the left? Energy, circuits and systems, toxins on the left, heavy metals, excess on the left, stress hormone. So excess metabolic waste is coming up. Can you say a bit more about that? Uh, so metabolic waste is uh, metabolic waste. Waste refers to the byproducts of all metabolic processes and consists of anything that our bodies cannot use, is toxic, or just wants elimination. If any of the organ organs of elimination, liver, kidneys, lungs, intestine, and skin are compromised in any way or are working less efficiently than they should, metabolic waste can build up in the body. So it's, it's just basically the body is not able to, um, you know, clear up what... Uh, So we'll just ask, is there an association with the metabolic waste? Is it on, is it on the left? Energy circuits. Toxins. On the left, heavy metals. On the left, mercury. So I'm getting mercury as an association with the mm. metabolic waste. Okay. Probably time to maybe take some more zeolite. Yeah, take take some zeolite. Um, you know, also spirulina, wheatgrass, heavy metal binders. Um, you know, there's there's doctors and specialists who um, you know specialize in heavy metal detox. Mm -hmm. um, I know some of the stuff the medical medium has on uh, mercury detox. You know, seem pretty good. Um, and uh but definitely what what what's the quality of water you're drinking like um well there isn't fluoride in it which is uh obviously a good thing um i have what's called a clar water filter that um takes chlorine as well as um fluoride out although it's not in the water so yeah i think it's pretty good 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 um so the water is good quality you're just drinking half of what you need basically isn't yeah. it you're getting a liter yeah. in so you two's maintenance for average size male okay um and if you're sauning and doing stuff like that you could probably do with uh yeah. you know an extra pint um 
And would you have much dehydrating drinks compared to, do you know, like coffee, tea, stuff like that, that dehydrate? Yes, I have one cup of decaffeinated coffee a day and probably about three cups of loose leaf black tea a day. Okay, so they're dehydrating you. So you want to, you know, you want to have, um, you know, a right balance for hydration. Um, so, I mean, if if I was if I was drinking two liters for maintenance and if I get half a liter of coffee, I'm going to want another half, half a liter of water mm -hmm. to, to balance up to a, you know, hydration level. I, I always drink quite a bit of water after I've had my coffee. Good, good. But you said it's only about a litre a day you're getting. Yeah. Would you get more sometimes? Probably. I, I, yeah, it's like I probably, like most people, I probably drink more in summer than in mm -hmm. winter. Would you get four four pints of water, two litres? I'd have a go. Mm. Well, yeah. It's maintenance. <laughs> okay. Um, and... Um, yeah, so that's that's really important. Um and th that's that's interesting that the, the mercury's come up in relation to the testes and that you said mm. that um it it had already correlated with the Western Price Dentistry chart when you looked at it. Um so we'll just ask, is there anything else we can clear today? Can we do the next session in one day, two days, in three days? So over the next three days, uh, you may feel that you're processing what we've done. And if your mind's uh, going a lot with uh, thinking about the emotions we cleared, it can be good to journal and write about the things that happen just to help process things. Well, and if you're feeling a bit tired, that's just normal. Um, mm -hmm. So don't worry about that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so see you later, Clive. Uh, Clive, and uh, have a good day. Well. Um, yeah. Shall and I I'll, tell you something? I'll I'll just stop the recording now. I'll stop okay. the recording now. <laughs>